episode 168. But we used to be best friends. Ah! Lily cried out in pain. Summer, you actually dared to slap me. Why did you do that? Summer was annoyed, and her eyes were full of disdain. Why shouldn't I have slapped you? Who do you think you are? Today, she wanted everyone to understand that they couldn't bully her. They had to learn to respect her. Summer, stop! You can't just hurt your colleague! <clears throat> Jane hadn't shown up when Lily and Mason were arguing, or when Lily was insulting Summer. But when Summer was talking to Lily, she suddenly walked out of her office. Summer thought it was funny. Jane was like this five years ago, always trying to look like a good person. Maybe she could fool everyone else, but not her. Summer knew what Jane was really like. A long time ago, I would have just yelled at people if they insulted me. But today, I had to use other methods to make Lily understand that she can't talk about my child like that. After she spoke, she looked at Lily's ankle, which she hurt the other day. Lily sat on the floor and didn't dare to say anything. The people that had been watching their fight were all shocked. They didn't understand how Summer could have done that in front of so many people. Moreover, she had only been there for a few days and was already so arrogant. Summer looked at Lily. She had a smile on her face, but her eyes were filled with coldness. Lily, I gave you a chance, but you didn't take it. In the future, remember this. When you see me, walk away. Lily regretted her actions. If she had known that this woman was so hard to deal with, she would have never talked to her. After seeing her nod her head, Summer raised her chin. She felt like a heavy burden had been lifted off her shoulders. Sometimes people were like this. They bullied the good and feared the evil. When she was nice to everyone, they wanted to criticize her. And now that she was not nice, they wanted to distance themselves from her. Summer looked at Jane. With a smile, she said, Designer Lockhart, this should be considered as fair, right? Jane couldn't even utter a word. She turned her head and looked at two women who were trembling in fear and said, You two, send Lily to the hospital. Lily could no longer work at a start. She had to leave. Jane was furious, but she couldn't do anything about it. Summer, let's talk. Jane glanced at the people around her. They immediately went back to their desks and started to work. Summer raised her eyebrows and nodded. She really wanted to see what this woman wanted to talk about. Jane calmed herself down and walked out of the room. Summer shrugged, ready to follow her. Summer. Mason grabbed her shoulder and wanted to say something. It was obvious that he didn't want her to go alone. Summer turned around and gave him a reassuring smile. She wanted to deal with Jane, so she wasn't going to act like a coward. Although Mason was worried, he couldn't really stop her. He could only sigh and whisper, Be careful. Summer nodded and walked out. No matter what, she was sure that Jane wouldn't do anything to her in the company. She didn't want to ruin her reputation there. Everyone thought that Jane was a nice person. It seemed that Summer was the only one that knew how good she was at hurting others. Summer and Jane went to the rooftop of the building. Jane stood there, facing the wind, with her arms crossed. You could see in her eyes that she was scheming. Summer shrugged and leaned against the railing of the roof, a mocking smile on her face. They were once best friends. But now that they stood there face to face, they had
had a completely different state of mind. It really felt sarcastic. Summer, what happened five years ago was just a misunderstanding. I had had a difficult life, and I couldn't explain it clearly to Peter. Can you forgive me? We were good friends for so many years. Are we really going to confront each other like this? Can't we just forget about this and be nice to each other? Jane's eyes were filled with tears, and her words were full of passion. Summer wanted to clap her hands. Jane was a great actress. Jane, five years ago, I was still naive. That's why I treated you as a friend for so many years. Do you think that I would give you such a chance now? Summer had always been fearless. She had offended a lot of people that had hurt her. Now, she was looking at Jane, and she felt even more fearless than before. Summer, you really misunderstood me. I've been thinking about you for the past five years, and I feel very guilty, and I feel very sorry for you. But why did you come back and not give me a chance to explain? Jane covered her chest with her hands, trying to say, I'm very hurt. I'm really heartbroken. Summer felt sick when she listened to her. She finally understood the meaning of the word deceiver. Despite having done so many things that hurt her, Jane was still able to stand there and criticize her. Most people would not have been able to do something like that. But it was Jane. Summer should have never trusted her. Designer Lockhart, since you have such a bad memory, I'm going to remind you. When I came here, you wanted to get rid of me. I can only say one thing. You feel guilty. On my second workday, you asked Lily to bully me. On the third day, no one wanted to talk to me. You had probably told bad things about me to everyone. So tell me, did you really miss me?